The universal key to healing is the acknowledgement, it's the acceptance of your issue. And the unique thing about my program, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, no, no, hey, excuse me, I know you can hear me, you're looking right at me, ma'am, ma'am. The unique thing about my program is I handle all addictions in the same room, all at the same time. To heal, we must develop compassion. We must develop respect for those who are different than ourselves. Hello, Green Hello, sir. I'm looking for the library. What are you saying to me? Pick those up. The library, it's just the library. My students need to be in this class. They need to be here. Do they have to be here? They do, because it's mandatory. If they don't take my program, they will face expulsion. But I would like to think that they want to be here. Let me take that again, sorry. Let me just roll that with that again. And I very rarely swear, so we can beep that out. Hi, I'm looking for the library. Could you help? Come on. Come on. See ya. Huh. That's what girl tastes like. They have an addiction, and they have a problem that they are working through. And I, Gary Goldberg, am addicted to changing that. It's almost like that mandatory driver's ed class you have to take when you get a DUI or something. They basically make things out of clay and draw faces on paper plates. There's no academics in there whatsoever. I'm sure for their thesis they just practice hugs and whoever gets the best hug wins or something. Gary, I have to go to the bathroom. No, because we literally just started, so you don't have to hold it till snack time. Okay. But what you can do is help me pass out this admission slip. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to pee all over the carpet though. No, we don't want you to do that. We want you to participate. Because participation is nine-tenths of the law. That's not a law. I'm, I'm going to wet the carpet, I swear. What's up? I'm Robert Lyle, and I have anger management issues. Turn that off! All right, let's move to the big man! George, I don't know why you think that's you. Ooh, ooh, Gary! Yes, Todd. Is it me? It's not you. Put your hand down, because it confuses me. Oh. Tommy, can you please just pass this out for me? Georgia Jones, a food addict. Look, look this way. Uh, we've had this conversation many times, and you're not allowed to have sugars or fatty foods in the classroom. I know, but... Gary, don't toss my cookies! I will toss your cookies if I want to. So you're rude. not allowed having those in the... All you have are rice cakes and water! Todd, will you stop that? What are you doing? <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Hi, my name's Todd Wickle, and I have uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. OCD, for short. Uh, hey guys, I'm Janie, and I'm a sex addict. Oh yes. Whoa, hey, 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 sit back down, sit back down. What are you guys, barn animals? You're hot and I like to eat, so call me. Okay, that's not happening. <laughs> Ever? I don't know, I'm just very comfortable with my body. So is the chess club. There should be frequent bathroom breaks and you Fucking know it! Uh, hi, is this is this Addicts Anonymous? Uh, yeah, it is. Drop the chair. Now get to the core, ner, and think about okay, what you did. Okay. Get out of my way. Timeouts are for children, so I've came up with the core, ner. If you understand that, the core, ner, but it's in a corner, but it's a place where the students go when they've misbehaved, so that they can reflect and they can learn something because it gives them the ability to do that. When you're in solitude, all you can do is think and they get to see what lives deep inside of them. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna live deep inside each one of my students. Who are you? I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm sorry I was late, I, I had to do, uh, uh, I got lost. We've all been lost, Kevin. But that leads to the undiscovered path of potential. Let me be your guide, Gary Goldberg. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh oh, can I talk to you privately for- Hey everyone! This is Kevin! Hi. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Todd's so funny. All right, Kevin, why don't you tell everyone why you're here? My RA caught me drinking. <laughs> it's just one drink. I got caught drinking a beer. You're an alcoholic. No. <laughs> Denial. What I always tell them 
is you need to stop learning and you need to start thinking about what you need to learn next. Listen up, everyone. Kevin Richardson here doesn't believe he has a problem. Not true. I have a 20-page midterm due on it's Tuesday. It's best if you don't fight it. I remember a young man who didn't think he had a problem. Remember when I first met you, Doug? You were so stoned that you could barely keep your eyes open. But look at you now. Sober for over a year. I'm so stoned now. <laughs> Why don't you tell Kevin what you've been doing with your newfound sobriety? Sure. Uh, you know, just doing boss shit, making a hella bank, working on a few startups, bouncing ideas around. I mean, I'm really just trying to get that yacht, you know? Learn from that. <laughs> Four-wheeler accident. Oh, that's why I ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you were here because you made a mistake, okay? But you have two choices now. One is you either sign it or I'm going to have to expel you. Why is it burnt? I like to think of myself as a magician, a wizard of sorts. Once I added pyrotechnics to my act, I realized I really like to burn shit. Everyone must sign their admission slip Shazam. because today. Woo! Oh my God! What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Give me the flame right now. Why is it burnt? because my printer's broken. I will take the class, but I'm not signing this. Signing this would, would be a lie. I'm not an addict. Mm. Do you want to be a failure, Kevin? What is your dad gonna think? Are you gonna be the laughing stock at your boarding school? You want all the kids to call you tree stump because you didn't hit your growth spurt till you were 19 years old? Is that what you want? Hey, Karen, come on, it's too early in the year for these stories. Now tap that when you need to. You're getting so strong. That was a demonstration of restraint. Okay? So let's draw our feelings. Todd, grab them crayons. I assume they're over here. That is correct. Why are you here? A minor alcohol infringement. I mean, what's your major? Um, undecided, actually. Huh, an alcoholic that's undecided. How does that make you feel? In crayon. Green. Does anybody have a green? Yeah, what strain you need? No. Okay. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm thinking maybe more like a, like a yellow. Um, uh, or brown. Yeah, mm -hmm. close enough. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I still don't know what to draw. Whatever you want. I'm pretty sure Doug is drawing a big pot leaf with a dick on it. Check it out. Hell <laughs> yes. I know, right? That was scary, actually. We've all felt angry before. We've all felt like we didn't belong. Despite our issues, addictions if you will, the thing we must never forget, the thing we must admit to ourselves on a daily basis, is that we are not alone. Hey Tommy, I'm gonna give you back your lighter. And do you know why? Because I'll just buy another one? No, it's because I trust you. I'm awesome. Tommy, Tommy, you have breached my trust. Even though it was impressive. You get used to Gary. And Doug. And Todd. Mm. Probably not Todd. Run. What? Run! Are you sure this isn't going to make me late? Because I don't want to start off class on the wrong foot. So, do I look at you or the camera? The camera? Okay. Okay. What is this for, anyway? Is it, is it for, like, the internet or something? 
But it's called Addicts Anonymous. <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense.